Chapter 2 Intellectual Revolutions that Define Society Darwinian Learning Objectives After studying this topic, you should be able to understand that by biological evolution, we mean that many of the organisms that inhabit the earth today are different from those that inhibited in, in the past. Understand that natural selection is one of several processes that can bring about evolution. Understand that the four propositions underlying Darwin's theory of evolution during natural selection are there is therefore a struggle for existence. More individuals are produced that can survive. Individuals within a species show variation and offspring tend to inherit their parents' characters. Was the first comprehensive and readable synthesis of the history of evolutionary thought, originally published in 1879. Darwin's revolutionary theory was that new spaces arise naturally. Individuals with characteristics based suited to their environment are more likely to survive. Charles Robert Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contributions to the science of evolution. His proposition that all of species of life have descended from common ancestors is now widely accepted and considered a fundamental concept in science. Born February 12, 1809, the Mount House, Shrewsbury, United Kingdom, and died April 19, 1882. Home of Charles Darwin, Down House, Down United Kingdom. Good day. So today, we are going to talk about the Darwinian revolution that defined society. First, what is Darwinism or what is Darwinian revolution? Darwinian revolution or Darwinism is a theory of biological evolution developed by the English naturalist Charles Darwin in the year 1809 to 1882. It states that all species of organisms arise and develop through natural selection of small, inherited variations that increase the individual's ability to compete survive and reproduce you may wonder how is it being done or how is it being created so in order for us to understand the theory of Dur of charles darwin let's talk about natural selection natural selection is the process through which species adapt th to to their environments it is the engine that drives evolution natural selection is the process through which populations of living organisms adapt and change. We all know that individuals in a population are naturally variable, meaning that they are all different in some ways. This variation means that some individuals have traits better suited to the environment than others. Individuals with adaptive traits, when we say they have adaptive traits, they have traits that give them some advantage, and they are more likely to survive and reproduce. These individuals then pass the adap adaptive traits on to their offspr offspring. Over time, these advantageous traits become more and more common in the population. Through this process of natural selection, favorable traits are transmitted through generations. Natural selection can lead to speciation, where one species gives rise to a new and distinctly different species. It is one of the processes that drives evolution and helps to explain the diversity of life on Earth. Charles Darwin chose the name natural selection to contrast with artificial selection, or selective breeding that is controlled by humans, by us. He appointed to the pastime of pigeon breeding, a popular hobby in, in his day, as an example of artificial selection. 
by choosing which pigeons mated with others. Hobbyists created distinct pigeons, pigeon breeds with fancy feathers or acrobatic flights that were different from wild pigeons. Darwin and other scientists of his day argued that a process much like artificial selection happened in nature without any human intervention. He argued that natural selection explained how a wide variety of life forms formed and developed over time from a single common ancestor. Darwin did not know that genes existed, but he could see that many traits are heritable, meaning that is passed from parents to offspring. Mutations are changes in the structure of the molecules that make up genes. That is what we call DNA. The mutation of genes is an important source of genet genetic variation within a population. Mutations can be random. For example, when replicating cells make an error while copying DNA, or happen as a result of exposure to something in the environment like harmful chemicals or radiation. Mutations can be very harmful. I mean harmful. Mutations can be very harmful, sometimes neutral or sometimes helpful. That results to a new advantageous trait. When mutations occur in germ cells, germ cells. First, what is germ cells? These are, I mean, eggs and sperm cells. When mutations occur in eggs and sperm cells, they can be passed on to offspring. If the environment changes rapidly, then some species may not be able to adapt fast enough through natural selection. Through studying the fossil record, we know that many of the organisms that once lived on Earth are now gone, meaning they are now extinct. One of the examples is dinosaurs. An invasive species, a disease organism, or a catastrophic environmental change or highly successful predator can all contribute to the extinction of species. Today, human actions such as overhunting and the destruction of habitats are the main cause of extinctions, right? It is very clear. It is very obvious. It's unavoidable. Extinctions seem to be occurring at a much faster rate today than they did in the past, as it is being shown in the fossil record. So go back to his concept of evolution through natural selection individuals with characteristics as i have said earlier individuals with characteristics be best suited to their environment are more likely to survive and adapt meaning they are capable of finding their food they are able to avoid predators and resisting disease they are more likely to survive and these individuals are more likely to reproduce and pass their genes on to their children as what I've just said earlier. So individuals that are poorly adapted to their environment are less likely to survive and reproduce. Therefore, their genes are less likely to be passed to be passed on to the next generation, to be passed on to their children because they are weak. Rather, I mean, they are weak than any other species in the population. As a consequence, those individuals most suited to their environment survive, only survive, and given enough time, the species will gradually evolve. To make it uh, concise and more understandable, there are four key points of Darwin's theory of evolution, through natural selection, of course. First, individuals of a species are not identical, which is absolutely true. Second, traits are passed from one generation to another generation. Second, more offspring can born than can survive. 
fourth and last, the only survivors of the competition for resources will reproduce. So, we can conclude that revolution is the process or a way on how the generation changes, how the culture passes and continues in every generation, and a way of how the economy, lifestyle, living, beliefs of every person changes. Added, compared, and evolved, or gets bigger or better. It is on how would a person and the environment changes in different way and on different versions. While a theory is a research or a study of how the things are made, develop, and discover. It when you already know where most phenomenon or or thing came from, as well as on when it really developed, where you know what is the meaning of having them with us. It is also a study of where their names came from, further more than how or what was the use, it is components, how it is being made, how long they are, how long them can be alive or even on how we can defend them on harm, harmful things.